in South Bend, Indiana, these were high school basketball fans. Security! Security! Melee erupted at halftime. There were no players on the court. At Washington High School, this was senior night. Families and friends were there to honor the Panther players. But the festivities and the rest of the game itself against Riley High School got canceled. Please remain in your seats, please. Please remain in your seats. The pleas from the public address announcer were ignored. Fans, we ask that you please stay in the stands. Please do not come out to the court. Please stay in the stands. Please. The brawl was so widespread and went on for so long that South Bend police reported dispatching every officer on the force. Ooh, what an awful scene, good grief. Hello everybody, I'm David Schuster and thanks for joining us. As some of you know, I grew up in Indiana. For myself and countless other Hoosiers, basketball, especially high school basketball is sacred. The teams, the atmosphere, the gymnasiums, it's all hallowed ground. And on a winter's night across Indiana, no matter what else is going on outside the four walls of a basketball gym, you can grab a box of popcorn, take a seat on a wooden bleacher, settle in for 32 minutes of a game, and leave your troubles behind. All you have to do is watch the kids as they hustle and compete with jumpers, rebounds, and team play. And some of these players are really good. More than a few in many towns are headed to Division I college basketball scholarships. Indeed, at this particular game in South Bend, the head coach of Purdue University, Matt Painter, was in the stands watching some prospective recruits. But instead of a celebration of basketball, competition, and all that is good about Hoosier hysteria, some jerks attending the game ruined it all. They took whatever beef they had with each other and went hands on the bleachers and then on the court. And then more people joined in and more. The players never came back out of the locker room. Imagine what was going through their minds. One can only hope the players will get to finish their game, but in an empty gym with no one but themselves, their coaches, and each other in attendance. Let the kids play, but keep everybody else out. According to local media reports, none of the brawl participants or police reported any serious injuries, and nobody was arrested. Hopefully, though, school officials will look at the video and identify the people who started this and the people who joined the fight. They all need to be barred from all sporting events. Student athletes in South Bend and across Indiana deserve better. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.